Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the library of Runia, where we've got more workshop levels to play today, including one from a very special member of our community who has made one mod, which has been tirelessly making one mod in particular. So today we're going to start by fighting Zella. Hello, Zella. How are you? You look quite interesting. So I get three floors to kill you with. Okay. Speed three, fair. Calmness, okay. Incomplete Arbiter, Manipulator of Odds. Ha. Why does this feel not so special at the moment? Dice on this page and the page clashing with it are, are, are unaffected by power, loss, or gain. Okay. On clash win, draw a page. On clash win, restore light. On clash win, inflict paralysis. On clash win, restore light. Restore light. Restore light. Uh, on clash win, draw a page. Restore light. Seal a speed die of the character Nick Seed. So you are... Everything, apart from this page, are unaffected by power gain. Okay. That's going to make you quite an interesting fight. Dice on this page. Uh, lower the max value of the opponent's next dice by three. Seal a speed die of the target for next scene. Target's dice power cannot be influenced by any effects next scene. On hit, inflict two anti-recovery Nixie. Oh, jeez, you... That hits hard. Well, I get three floors to kill you with, so... Surprisingly, I feel like Malkuth might be the better on... Better one to, to fight you initially. Just to burn you down. Alright, here I come. I want you to take this fight seriously. Oh, don't trust me, I am. Alright, let's go. I'm not sure if this has come out properly, because I feel like it might be missing some passives or something. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's see how this goes then. Next scene, let's do this. Burn. Like I say, burn. Burn to an absolute crisp. You're definitely gonna have a second phase or something, aren't you? There's no... Oh, that was the Plague version, really? That explains why it was so easy. Documents of Zella's false image. Okay. Well, I might as well get, like, these really nice overpowered cards. Sure, why not? So, that was the Plague version? Ah! That's probably where I went wrong. I fought the 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 regular version first. So you know what? What's Zella easy mode before I try fighting the ultra mega hard one? Observing situation. Hasty actions can bring you more harm. Okay, so how about this for a hasty action? There is no need to take pity on me. Okay. Huh. So doing that got me this. Which is apparently just a cheat way to get all the the cards. Okay. Granted. Admitted. Admitted. I'm not going to pick it. I, I'm not that bullcrap. I might be able to just get everything immediately, but I'm not going to pick it. What does this look like? Why the Christ did it have 18,000 HP? I'm sorry, what? 
Let's try this burning blade then. What's the burning blade, Zella? 75,000 HP. Come again. Upon becoming what would be staggered, nullify the stagger damage and take 45 to, four, to 47 physical damage and recover full stagger resist. This character's speed die cannot become sealed. In addition, this character cannot become immobilized or uncontrollable in certain instances. Reduce all incoming damage and stagger damage by one. The amount changes to three at emotion level four. Boost the min slash max value of dice by plus one when clashing. The amount, the amount changes to plus two at emotion level three. Increase the max roll value of the next die by plus two upon winning a clash, or plus one max roll value upon losing a clash. Recover two HP and two stagger resist upon winning a clash. For every three clash wins, restore one life. For every four clash wins, restore draw one page. At emotion level two or above, reduce the cost of a random page in hand whose cost is one or higher by one for this for the scene. Draw three more card pages at the start of the act. True Blade. Deal 25% additional damage and stagger damage upon a successful attack. When this character uses six unique combat pages in a single act, enters a blade unlock stance which, in which all dice gain plus one power. In addition, gain ex access to an exclusive mass attack page. Unshakable Resolve. Speed die... Speed die... Speed die slots plus three. Again, an, addi ad an additional speed die at emotion level three. Gain access to unique combat pages. Start the battle with 99% less HP. Okay, so you only have 750 HP. That's not so bad now. Incomplete Arbiter, Manipulator of Odds. Personality, Radiant Hero. Gains access to Specialized Ego. All die gain plus two minimum and maximum roll value. Upon defeating an opponent, all die gain plus one minimum maximum roll value for each defeated opponent within the act. What are you using? Unaffected by power, unaffected by power. If target is defeated or staggered, use this page on a random enemy. Okay. If 14 or more damage was dealt using this page, draw one one page and reduce the cost of all other pages of the same thi thing by one. Basically, Gabara's mechanic, right? Same thing, but restore light. Th same thing, but draw a page again. Okay. Ha. Huh. I'm not actually even sure how I want to fight you. But most of your pages aren't- haven't got the power immunity bull, so I think I'll actually use Gabara this time. Hello, Radiant Hero. Ah, I hope they go easy- they go easy on someone as listless as me. Oh, I love how you just look like Gabara right now. You just stole Gabara's form. Oh, and you've got the triangles, right. Okay. Let's just see how this works then. is almost staggered from that. Well, Gabara's getting staggered this turn. And I don't think I can stop that. So she might as well just delete another page. I. Okay, let's go.
we staggered you, dealing the extra bonus damage at least. Uh, roll of the wolf. And obviously Baron, please. Right, Gabara's dead now. Yay. Alright, as I say, this should be interesting. Let's go. Bye, Gabara. Maybe you should have tried not letting your guard down. Maybe you should try not being a little so-and-so. What are these goddamn numbers? You should not be allowed to ta attack the same speed die if you've got speeds like that crap. That is highly unfair. Well, Baron is dead. You're dead. You're dead. The only one left is going to be Blonder. Ah, oh, no, you're dead. You died to burning. Never mind. I love how you roll the maximum number every single time. I feel like Alex programmed that in. I can imagine that he would have. Honestly. same die. It's just not fucking fair. Well, bye Blonde. You put up a good fight, but... <laughs> Apparently good fight isn't good enough versus bullcrap. I feel we have to burn it. So... Because your speed die is legitimate bullcrap, let me just check how much, you know, bonuses you have right now. Plus two minimum value, okay. And plus another two minimum value. So all your dice have plus four power, plus you've got one strength for some fucking reason. So it's not three to seven, it's eight to twelve. Okay, this is fair. I don't know what universe this is fair, but it is apparently fair. Especially one when one guy has six, four attacks on him against speed bullcrap. Alex, I know you like to make things powerful, but 1 to 14 speed is stupid. You shouldn't have that. That is not fair. There's a difference between powerful and just plain unfucking fair. All right, let's try this, I guess. Really? Okay, so noted. He's at the point where it's actually impossible to win a clash because they can't roll less than a 10. What makes this stupid is the fucking speed. It, 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 honestly, the numbers would be fine if you could back attack it, but you can't because it's too fucking fast. I'm sorry, zero damage? What? Why? If a creature can't roll below a fucking 10, it is impossible to kill. This isn't fucking fair. Everyone is staggered right now because of that bull crap. I'm using my most powerful attack and it can't beat go past its numbers. What is this stupid crap?
Well done! You one-shot everything! yourself. So what's the colorless angel out of interest? Considering the blazing blade is bullcrap, what's the colorless angel? Oh, it's just the more powerful version. What's that? 16? No, sorry. 14 hits? What? So the only way I can possibly see us winning this is by starting with Malkuth and trying to burn it to hell. Because we're going to need Gabara for the second part where they have plus 15 to hit on all attacks. Because that's fair. It's really the 1 to 14 speed which makes it absolutely fucking bullcrap. It really is, because that's just... You can't plan for that. You can't strategize around that. It's just, this guy's getting attacked. Deal with it. And sometimes you can't deal with it. Sometimes people just don't have the capability of dealing with it. Especially when four of those attacks attack the exact same dice. It's stupid. Well, let's give it a go and try to burn them down to hell. Oh, nope, they rolled above a 10. Oh, nope, they rolled maximum again. Nope, sure, go ahead. Roll maximum every single time. Sure, totally fair. Yep, very fair. Yep, totally. Good fight. Good fight. Totally winnable. Oh, look, she's got more health than she started with because she also heals. What possible world did you think this would be fair, Alex? I love how you bullcrap it as well. This page cannot be affected by power. I just increase the minimum and maximum values of every dice. Ho 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 I'm affected by power, but you're not. That makes it completely fair and winnable. But you know what? Fuck it. If she heals from clashing, we just won't clash. Oh my god, how did you roll so low on speed? I am shocked. Well done. I'm very impressed. Okay, let's keep burning you to hell somehow. Oh, no, never mind. They're dead. I... What makes it so bullcrap? Oh gee, thanks. All the attacks on her, really? Well, I guess she's fucking dead then. Cause she's not winning a goddamn attack against any of this crap. Might as well just let her die then. Attacked. What the fuck? You know what? Sure, fuck it. I'll take footfalls. Oh, and the 
and then a fourth match? Sure, go ahead. Could use one of those. And the very first attack you give me is Burning Dive. Oh, you little fucker. The one that, just when I get a blazing strike and I think, hmm, maybe I can do some damage first. Nope. You just say, nope, you're not allowed to do that. Well, you know what? Go fuck yourself. I'm not giving you the chance of hit to heal. Fourth match, just fucking die. Hit me. And I pray that you burn. You don't. Of course you don't. Fucking don't. This is a- this is a fucking joke. These numbers are a fucking joke. Well, you did take the burn damage at least, so- And I click enter. Yay! So because I actually want to have some fun today, let's try something else. You know, something that's winnable. I was told specifically that there is this, like- this one group, which is of random generated pages. Which seems pretty cool. I'm not- I think this is the one which is the randomly generated one. So you know what? We'll go with it. I want to see what it's like. We're only allowed to use four people. Hmm, that's interesting. But you know what? Sure, okay. We get one floor and four people. Oh, wow. That's pretty difficult. Hmm. But you know what? Screw it. Let's just see how things go. So what have you got? Keeping in stride. When using a melee combat page, if the character's speed is greater than targets- Oh, that's what Aelin has, right. You're the ranged character, sure. As a you. You're the same as the first one, and you're the same as the first one. You know what? Sure, let's go with this. Let's give it a try. Alright, here I come. I want you to take this fight seriously. Be prudent. Alright. And we start off with Gubara getting two infinity pages. Oh, the game is already trying to work out better for me, isn't it? Okay, so the fact their numbers aren't particularly high isn't too bad. The problem is going to be the fact that we have to fight two groups of these using only these five. That's going to be the problem. Why did you take no damage then, Blonda? Again, the curse of Parafox and his dice. Mostly a fact Baron got attacked four times, being a thing as well. At least he's only getting attacked once this time. Serial killer. I love the name of the attack. Okay, let's go. First up, get staggered. Second up, die, apparently. Next up, just take a bunch of damage. Surprised you did so badly for that, Gabara. So close to staggering. So close. Well, that's dead at least. Marvelous. Vampirism. Baron probably needs that at the moment, because he's feeling a little... down. Okay, guys, let's see how well this one goes. I thought that would happen, but I thought you would get staggered from that, I won't deny. Well, you're staggered now, so I guess that's what all that matters. And now you die, like a good little bastard. And finally... You! Apparently don't die like a good little bastard. Who needs the rank up? You could probably use the rank up more. You have more chance of getting the rank up than the others, so... 
but you didn't. Oh well. So what's the next phase of this fight? Out of interest. Hugen's page. Interesting. Lightfoot's page. Madeline's page. Alright, so they're all kind of interesting. They've got basically the same cards. So that one's new. Sip of Smoke. So you're the smoke guy. If the character... If the character has 12 or more total smoke and charge at the start of the scene, consume it to gain one strength and draw five cards at the start of the next scene. That is really cool. I like that passive. If at the end of the scene, if the character has eight or more smoke, gain one strength next scene. So you just work on the basis of having a bunch of cards to gain smoke and whatnot. And then you never need to worry about drawing cards because you've got this thing. That is really cool. That's a good way of in interesting way of dealing things. Uh, you are just a hell of a bunch of slashing damage and power to go on top of it, along with bleeding. Simple and to the point. Madeline, madness. Easygoing breather, manipulator of odds. Interesting. And then we got the two random guys we fought last time. Okay, let's see how this goes. I like this. This is weird. So what are you do starting with? Foil. That's garbage. I don't give a damn. Gabar is dealing with one attack, which she could probably counter. Baron has five attacks on him. Not sure what I expect. If I have to choose a first character that requires to die, it is probably Mr. What am I calling it here? The Swordsman, just because they get so much power. Okay. So this ought to be an interesting first start. At least Baron has the ability to deeply heal. Is all I can say. Go. Really, two of them avoided the attack. I'm annoyed by that. And you failed your attacks. Baron, I miss the old Baron. Why did they have to nerf vengeance into the dirt? Absorption. You know what, Baron? You're probably gonna need it. No attacks on Gabara. Uh, six attacks on Baron. I think people are, ha have heard the legend of the Blood Baron. Sorry, seven attacks on Baron. Should I? <laughs> well, okay, let's see if Baron survives. I am so glad you rolled the maximum possible number of that. That was very nice, thank you. I think that actually saved Baron. That really high roll then on that attack. You're dead, goodbye. You're staggered. Pretty much goodbye. Okay. What attacks are on Baron? Only two this time. Only two this time. But Gabara's got three infinities. And you've got that, which is gonna do crap all to her. So we, we can ignore you. Okay, let's go. This ought to win us the day, I would think. Oh, 
Kookaburra didn't quite go on a big, massive rampage. Oh, what a shame. Well, you're dead, so goodbye. You're also dead, and you're the one I wanted, most of all. And Baron gets some vengeance. Nice. Well, that was good. So, I want to burn those books. What do we got? Oh, we do also, we do get all of those big attacks. So that ought to be interesting. However, the fact I, you guys have so many book pages really makes me feel I'm not going to get your, your actual pages. God peck, I need to fight them again. Either way, those things had some nice passives and it was an interesting concept. The next page we're gonna- the next one we're going to try today is the reception of a lost vampire. So what's so fun about this vampire? Lost Vampire Alice. Speed 3, Lost Vampire. On hit, recover 2 HP. If the character has recovered 3 or more HP, gain 1 haste next turn. Interesting, so it's different from Eleanor's. Sanity. At the start of each scene, the character, the character's dice power cannot be influenced by any effects. If the character has strength, boost the maximum roll of all the characters' die, of all the the maximum roll of all dice by one. If the character has endurance, increase the minimum by one. Okay. And it's a it's a one-on-one -on -one solo duel. Is this fight? Huh. Dream, restore light, prepare, heart sever. On use, add heart sever to the user's hand. That doesn't sound good. Prepare, quick collapse. Prepare, savage crash. Prepare, strained will. User's dice cannot be influenced by any effects for the next two scenes. If the user is inflicted with nullify power, gain three haste next scene. On use, if the user is inflicted with nullify power, boost the minimum and maximum roll values of the card by three. Yeah, I'm kind of going to say screw it for this and try out Gabara. Just because I've got more faith in Gabara one-shotting this than I do with Roland being able to. Hello, Alice. I'm confident about this work. All right, here I come. Oh, so you're always affected by nullify power. Okay, right, then. So be it. Let's see how this works, then. Alright, go! Nice. Nice. Expect no less. It'll do. Fear of water. In this fight. No, I think I'll take vampirism. You know what? I'm a vampire too, as well now, little lost vampire. Strained will, single use, combat start. If the user has nullify power, gain three protection this scene. Okay. Well, I can only really attack you with the one attack, so... Right, now let's get Roll of the Wolf, because I'm clearly going to be countering you a bit. Quick Collapse, single use. On use, if the user is inflicted with nullify power, boost the minimum and maximum roll of, the, of all dice on this page by plus three. That's pretty damn good. On hit, purge all protection and stagger protection from the target. Well, I'm gonna overspeed you, which I think should kill me. Which should, I think, should kill you. Okay. Simple. I liked it. And uh, it's. You don't get duels very often. And duels are actually kind of fun and interesting. So let's see if I can get Alice's page. I can! Alright, well, that's pretty cool. And it actually has the exact same effects. So, Lost Vampire Alice. It's also interesting how these prepares are also not 
what am I calling? I didn't see half of those prepared, so I don't know what they're all like. I know they were all pretty cool, though. Also, I really love all the, the cards from that, the one I did before the other one, just because it gives me a bunch of new smoke cards. And it, I, and I love smoke. I love smoke. There's just not enough of it. And then none of your cards are exclusive either. I was told that making cards exclusive to a page is actually requires a bit of programming knowledge, so most people can't do it. So it's why I pretty much work on the basis of honor rules for that. So like Bloodlust, that should be exclusive to Alice here. But then we have her able to use cards like Blind Faith because she nullifies, because she doesn't, she's unaffected by any power. Wait a moment. Thanks to Alice's page of increasing minimum damage when, what am I called it, via endurance, if I gave Alice here the, the Rhino procedure of a, of one of the Rhino cards, that means she would eventually get plus two to her all of her minimum numbers. But then if you on top of that apply Olivia's 12 fixes, that makes it plus four. Then if I put that in Binner's side and combined it with the weight of sin, Oh. Oh, is the lost vampire ever gonna become the new suicide build? Oh, that's very tempting. You know, just because I wanna see more of your prepared cards, what happens when you fight Binner? And I'll do Roland after. So let's see how well you do with this. So prepare Savage Crash and Disorder. Well. Let's go. First, I'm gonna lock you. Then I'm gonna fairy you a little. And now you're just restoring your cards, because of course you are. Alright, let's go. Boom. Boom. Have some more fairy. I love how I saw for a moment the image of the lost wolf. Like, it was so, like the game is so used to me pre playing as Gabara. It's just like, let's just get those Gabara abnormality. Oh, wait, he's playing as someone else. Quickly, let's load the others. <laughs> yeah. So, Savage Crash. Uh. Oh, yeah, you do. Boost the maximum and number. Ooh. Oh, that Savage Crash is actually pretty brutal. I haven't seen the Quick Collapse, though. And I do kind of have absolutely plenty of, you know, dice and whatnot. So... I hope this doesn't kill you. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Nice. So what's this? Quick Collapse. Oh, that's the purging one. You know what? I'm just gonna let you attack me with that. And then you got nothing new, so... How about a shockwave, then? Kaboom. Okay, you block it. Good. Good for you. Boom. Ah, oh, cool, you blocked that one, too. What about this one? Nope. Well, everyone, we've tried a, a bunch of things today. We tried... We tried fighting Zella. I still... I, I still think the numbers are fucking ridiculous. But I've spoken to the, the person who made it about that. And one of my moderators calls me a wimp as well. Uh, this fight was really cool, and I'm clearly gonna have to do it again. Just so I can get Hugin's pay 
Shugan's page because Jesus hell, that smoke charge simulated muscle muscle force is actually awesome. And we try the vampire, which is gonna look like quite fun if I actually do my build of combining it with the weight of sin. So yes, it looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode, everyone. So it looks like what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I've been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is just, it's time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good day.